Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, trend update, wine and oil ready for temple. Uh, January 26, 2017. Scripture references out of Exodus 29, verses 38 and 40. Now this is what you shall offer on the altar, two one-year-old lambs each day continuously. And there shall be one-tenth of an ephah of fine flour mixed with one-fourth of a hen of beaten oil and one-fourth of a hen of wine for a drink offering with one lamb. So here we are, January 20, 17. Thirty bottles of wine have been delivered to the Sanhedrin. This is another example that shows the Sanhedrin is gearing up for temple service. They believe the readiness and availability of temple wine is a forerunner to the arrival of the Messiah. Now the procedures for kosher wine are the most strident of any food or beverage. The entire process from grapes being grown on the ground to the harvest to the crushing of grapes to bottling wine must be completed by Sabbath observant Jews only. This is a very strict process. And so a wine libation and oil are required for the daily sacrifice. Now scripture says a quarter hen is needed and this amounts to about one quart. So one hen is essentially one gallon. And again the wine is poured on the altar. Now wine, li wine libations and sac sacrifices were part of other celebrations such as the Sabbath and the Passover. And if you've ever participated in a Passover Seder, recall four cups of wine are utilized in that service. So wine plays a key role in Jewish culture and, and uh, holiday observances. Uh, they also are involved, they, they drink wine for things such as uh, circumcisions and weddings. So, I don't know if you'd want to drink a cup of wine in a circumcision, but the Jews do it. And let's also let's not forget that Jesus turned water into wine at the wedding in Cana. And Christ, Christ knew how to throw a, throw a party. Roughly 120 gallons of wine that were previously water. John 2 verses 9 and 10. When the head waiter tasted the water which had become wine and did not know where it came from, but the servants who had drawn the water knew. The head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, Every man serves the good wine first, and when the people have drunk freely, then he serves the poorer wine. But you've kept the good wine until now. So, again, Jesus turned water to wine. There's an example of wine being used at a Jewish wedding. Uh, now, the oil for the temple menorah is now available. Harvesting and processing standards of olives are now in place thanks to the Sanhedrin. Scripture reference for that is out of Exodus 27, verse 20. You shall charge the sons of Israel that they bring you clear oil of beaten olives for the light to make a lamp burn continually. Now the key word in the verse is beaten. The process is done completely by hand. Machines and metal implements are not allowed. The olives are pounded with rubber and wooden mallets. Crushing the olives... It's not allowed. And this is a quote. This is from Rabbi Shmuel Veffer, and he is owner of Galilee Green, which produced the oil. And here's the quote. Since pressing the olives is not permitted for this special olive oil, the yield is very low. Once the menorah oil was produced, the remaining olives were made into 700 tins of this unique oil, which are now available to the public. So not all the oil was used for the lighting of the menorah over Hanukkah. So the leftover is, is for sale. Um, lastly, Leviticus 2 verse 4. Now when you bring an offering of grain offering baked in an oven, it shall be unleavened cakes of fine flour mixed with oil or unleavened wafers spread with oil. And again, this is from Rabbi Veffer. This oil was specially harvested through hand picking of olives that were used to make the menorah oil for the holy temple in Jerusalem, which we all pray will be rebuilt soon. So, um, you know, momentum is gaining, and having oil available 
and wine available. It, those are just two more examples of how um, they have the steps in place and they, they're expecting the third temple to be constructed. So if you're interested in this story, please feel free to check out uh, paulthepoke.com keywords, uh, wine, oil, temple service, Sanhedrin. Thanks a lot. Take care.